Today in class, we learned how to find the area of a rectilinear figure. For number one, we can divide the rectilinear figure into two smaller rectangles to find the area. I can divide it vertically here, forming two smaller rectangles, or I can divide it horizontally. Divided horizontally, I see that the bottom rectangle has a length of two and a width of five. So the area of the smaller rectangle would be 2 times 5, which would equal 10 millimeters squared. So this has a value of 10. The top rectangle has a width of 3, but the length is not 6 because the 6 actually represents the length of the whole side. Since we've cut the side off here, we must subtract this 2. So this length is actually 4 because 4 plus 2 equals 6. To find the area of the top rectangle, I now use the length and width. 3 times 4. The periwinkle bus has arrived. And that equals 12. To find the area of the whole rectilinear figure, I now have to put the 12 and 10 back together, which equals 22 millimeters squared. Let's try number two also. For number two, I can divide the rectilinear figure here, or I can divide it horizontally. When dividing it horizontally, I now have a rectangle that has a width of 8 and a length of 4. So to find the area of the top rectangle, I would use 8 times 4, which equals 32. The bottom rectangle has a width of 4, and now I need to find the length. Since the 6 represents the whole side, I have to think about where I'm cutting the rectangle. I'm cutting it here, I see that this part of the side actually measures 4, which would mean that the bottom part would have to equal 2, because 4 plus 2 puts me back at 6. So this side is 2. 4 times 2 equals 8. Now to find the area of the entire rectilinear figure, I add 32 plus 8, which equals 40. We're going to do number 3 together, and then you can try the rest on your own. For number 3, I'm going to break the rectilinear figure here. I see that the large rectangle has a length of 8 and a width of 5 and 8 times 5 equals 40. And then the smaller rectangle has a length of 2 and a width of 2, which equals 4. Then I need to add the two smaller rectangles together, 40 for the larger rectangle plus 4 for the smaller rectangle which would equal 44. So the area of the entire rectilinear figure would be 44 millimeters squared. This is a difficult concept for most students because it requires so many steps. Therefore, if your student is having trouble with it, I would just encourage them to watch the math video again and know that we are going to continue to work with it in class tomorrow, and I'll go over all of the questions in class in the morning.